So here we have the Ford Ka on a 65 plate. So I'm going to start off by showing you out around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you can see it's a three door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area of the car first of all. As we approach the back of the car you can see given the size of this particular vehicle we have plenty of boot space. You can increase it should you wish to by folding down either or both of the 50-50 split folding rear seats as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls, as I said, on the inside of it from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. We've got the rev counter on the left-hand side, speedometer on the right-hand side. In the centre at the top, the fuel gauge and cool and temperature gauges. And beneath that, we have the trip computer, which includes the total miles for this car. They are 100,809. If we back out to the steering wheel next, we have stereo controls out here. Uh, and then into the centre, the stereo itself. So you can adjust the volume up here, of course. You can uh, use the CD player. We have AM and FM radio as well. Directly beneath that, we've got a heated front screen, heated rear screen. We can turn off the stop and start from here. We have our front and rear fog lights. We've then got the air conditioning. So you can select the temperature, fan speed. You can recirculate the air that's in the car or bring in fresh air from outside it and determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in as well. Once you're happy with those settings, that's your air conditioning off. Back on again. We've then got a five-speed manual gearbox, driver and passenger side electric windows, a 12-volt charging socket, some storage down here, and USB input as well. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.